Welcome back to Two Dumbos Play Jumbo, the game. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was good. Nintendo good, ship it. Dumbo. <laughs> Nintendo Blumbo. Now, so, Keeping so, it real since 19... <laughs> 1950 Peel. When you got, buy a, a Blumbo, somewhere in Blafrica, <laughs> a, a child is given a blome. Is that slang for like... I have no idea. Hey! What's this guy? So this guy's like, help, my farfetch is useless, but I still want it. Could you help find it for me? Wow, that's stupid. I hate this part. Too... Oh, it wait. took me a while as a kid. Like, yeah, actually, yeah. I have. <laughs> These get... trees look great. Right? Just saying. <laughs> Just they don't... It's it's weird that there's very small little pine trees and then enormous trees that are four times its size, but... But you know what the small trees are for, right? Wait, are they cut trees? No, they're headbutt trees. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh mm -hmm. shit, I totally forgot about that in this game. That's why I have some secrets. Oh, do we have some... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, <guys. laughs> what? Holy shit, that sprite is amazing. I love it. He's like... Whoa! All right, so I'll tell you what, you can Whoa! do on this route. I'm not interested Whoa! in the... Sorry. <laughs> I was just being oddish. Oh, okay, go ahead. What? Was that a pun? <laughs> oh god, it is. Okay, what's up? I don't want any of these, but I thought I'd just tell you that there's Caterpie. Oh, we're playing gold. There's Caterpie, Oddish, Paris, and Zubat available to us. I don't like any of these. No, those are all bad. Okay. <laughs> this place is kind of dumb. Nope. Other side. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I don't follow him? No, 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 you're trying to chase him back to the... Oh, that's what this is, so I go around. Yeah, so, you have, so whatever way you talk to him, he's gonna walk the opposite way. I gotcha. I'm, so I'm, wanna... I'm basically hurting right now, is what I am. Yeah. I'm like a, dog, like a sheep herder. Yeah, I have a, the Prima Guide for Pokemon Silver. I'm not gonna look at it for, like, items and stuff, but I just wanna know what Pokemon we can find to make it easier oh, for us. Prima Guides are really not, like, cool. They are? Like, they I, are. yeah, I had the one for, for red... No, they're cool, I had the one for red, blue, and yellow. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, yeah, actually... Like, get the Hyper Ball! Was it Prima? I don't remember what the... It was really neat though, and it had like a lot of stuff in it. You know why they put that there? Why? Is there something that will kill me here? Should Whitney. I go... Should... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting you ready for Whitney. No, that, that's literally like... How I told you about that? <laughs> like, it's a, it's a... I don't know what it's called, but it's a... It's a trope where like, in a video game... Right before something that fucking kills you a lot, there'll be like an extra life. Because they yeah, knew. Because they know. Like, uh... Oh, there's a good example of that in Sonic 2. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, in... Which is actually a, like... A, oh, I think it's Sonic Adventure 2, that's why I was so confused. No, no, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is actually, in my opinion, like, the most balanced. Not the best. Because I've been playing Sonic 3 recently. I love Sonic And, too. boy, Sonic 3 is fucking wild. Really? Like, it's a really good... Like, I... I... I've never played it. I enjoyed it as a kid, but I didn't really think about it. But, like, recently, I was like, oh, I should play Sonic 3 again. Holy shit, it's like... Just fucking rainbows and crazy, and like the <laughs> levels are like enormous. It's amazing, like it's like a masterpiece. But it's a mess. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> but um, Sonic Two, I think, is like way more balanced, even though it's smaller for sure. Yeah. So you want to talk to it from the not from, that... from here? Yeah. It's God weird. damn. Um, I think it makes it run to the 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 right if you talk it from the bottom dude, or something. Come on. I guess you're not blocking it from the right. Yeah. Um. Well, listen. Oh, but the, but in Sonic Two, um, Metropolis Zone, I think Act Three. Which is weird because every other every other level in that game has two acts except the Tropical Zone. It's weird. You must have but, a lot of ideas or something. Yeah, but there's like this part with the screw thing, which can very easily squish you, which is an instant kill in Sonic, just like Mega yeah. Man. Or, or is that an instant kill in Mega Man? If it's yeah. squ something squishes you. Yeah. Yeah. So same thing, but there's a life right before it because oh. they knew that it was <laughs> like instead of fixing oh, it. Oh. Sorry, I thought I had the <clears throat> angle right. That's all right. So it wasn't it wasn't the mangle. <laughs> it's um, a mutant king angle. Right. It's a mutant king. Um, there's also in Spyro 1, there's a level called Treetops, which is notorious for just being bullshit. It's like, it's in the last Spyro. world. Yeah, in Spyro 1, it's a, it's a level called Treetops, and it's notorious for like, like if you're trying to 100% the game, it's really, really hard. Because uh -huh. it's like, these like little islands you have to fly between, and like if you mess up one, like your angle a little bit, you'll die. And so, at the very beginning of the level, you start in a little like, treetop, you know, like little treehouse or whatever and there's yeah. a there's a one up right at the beginning because they know you're gonna die a lot <laughs> they're like here you go like you can keep trying like it's it's a good thing but it's also like you could you could just fix and you know make the level not bullshit but it's better than just not having like having it be bullshit and then not having an extra life there that would be the, that's even worse oh yeah um <sighs> yeah oh also in crash in crash manicute they have like they have like I think in Crash 1, like, a lot of the bad levels have just, like, filled with one-ups and stuff. 
Oh, for sure. There, yeah, there's actually a lot I of that in Crash. I've like, Crash playthroughs and stuff lately. Yes. There... I haven't played a lot of Crash when I was a kid, but like my uncle was really into it, so I played it there. The only Crash I've ever played is Wrath of Cortex, <laughs> and I like it. I'm sorry, I know it's a bad game. Yeah, I've played a little really bit of like all of them, I think. I haven't, I haven't owned any though. I know it like. Oh, nope. I forgot about that. That's pretty clever. That's actually funny. Oh, but I forgot to mention. Um, oh, I thought there was gonna be an item there. That would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, I got, there's like a leak there or something. Yeah. And this guy comes over. Oh, bird. Hey, <laughs> oh. bird. Can I have a bird? My farfetch, you found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Wait, this is this is the charcoal dimension. I forgot. <laughs> this is charcoal dimension. Oh, we, oh, so that's how you get that's cut. That's the HM one, yeah. And also, I think after this, you can buy charcoal in the store. Or was it already available? It was already available. But it's really fucking expensive. Yeah, and they don't. Make and it we don't cheaper. have any fire Pokemon, so yeah. So whatever. Um, who should learn? Should we get a HM slave or? I think who can just learn to cut and give it to him. Yeah, I mean. I don't really care. All we all, all we really need from him right now is hypnosis and and a uh, pack. So. And maybe flash later on if you want. I mean, uh, who doesn't learn a lot of good moves anyway? Yeah, we'll see. I don't care either. I mean, we can do fly, obviously. Also, Paris can learn both cut and flash. We only use him as a slip. Oh. Nah, don't put it on Seth Rogen. I mean, does he le what does he learn? I'm trying to think. No, I can think of four decent moves that are better than cut, so no. So, <laughs> should we, like, catch a Paris or something? Catch a Paris, definitely. Yeah. They can learn both cut and flash. It's recommended. No, but I was going to say, when you're talking about Spyro, I <laughs> I felt so bad that you bought me Spyro for my... Was it for my birthday, or just like... Oh, no, it, it was just for Christmas in general, because I wanted yeah. us both to play it. See, and now it's in my... It's now it's in my apartment, and I've been playing... <laughs> Every so often I'll kind of pick at it. Mm -hmm. No, I feel bad that you bought me Spyro and you put it in at Spyro 3. No, yeah. <laughs> You're like, wait. This is how stupid I am, okay? Because, like, <laughs> I was on eBay and I'm like, I want to buy Spyro 1 because it's like, I really like that game. And I, I, I saw it, but it was only a disc. And for, I, apparently, I mean, it says on the disc, Spyro, You're the Dragon. Mm -hmm. It didn't say 3, but it says Spyro, You're the Dragon. But I just didn't register that, I guess. <laughs> And I just bought it and I got here. I literally didn't even look at it when I took it out of the thing. I didn't realize it until I put it into the PS2. And like, once we started playing, I saw like the Insomnia logo and it zoomed out to uh, the background of Fireworks Factory is the, is the level it's like. It's like this Chinese level. And I was like, this is Spyro 3. <laughs> this is this is not Spyro 1. Whoops, don't, don't cut it. Just catch it. Oh, I'm sorry. I zoned out there for a sec. I was too... <laughs> just catch it, please. <laughs> don't cut it. Just catch it. Save children, please. Um, but yeah, so that was like, that was funny. I do that a lot, where I like buy something online, and I'm like, oh, I wasn't paying attention to this at all. Like, I just got this, uh, this painting. No, I was trying to pay attention to that stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm bad about it. I always, like, triple check my, like, online orders and stuff. Like, I, I bought this painting, um, from someone that I follow on Twitter. And, it, like, I, it probably should have, um... I got this name. I'm gonna name it Slow. I'm gonna name it Slave. Oh, I was gonna name it, uh... Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, there's no 2012. Uh, uh, TT, 2012. Oh, hold on. Actually, is there a triangle for the Illuminati? He's crying. Coney. 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 Konichiwa. I was hoping to do Coney 2012. <laughs> I don't know why it was the first thing that came to mind. That's so funny. Um, teach him cut and flash. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's do that now. So you're buying online? No, yeah, I, was just, I just bought this painting. It looked like a big size painting. It should, probably should include me in the fact that it was 32 bucks, which is cheap. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cheap. I bought it. It is like the size of. It's so like a business card? A, no, a little bigger than that. It's like. Post it card. Yeah, like a post it. Yeah. Like, seriously, was that small? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it looks good. It's just the picture made it look a lot bigger. And I was like, I wasn't mad. I was just like, oh, no, I was a lot smaller than I thought. Because it came in a little package. Like, I have them shift my work, and it came in a little package. I was like, that is. Much smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be a thing I decided and for. And you unfold it, and you're like, "Well, this is ruined." <laughs> if, if it was like the actual size you wanted. <laughs> nah, I mean, I wasn't like, I literally like, like it took a while to ship. I was like, even if this like got lost in the mail, I wouldn't care because I really just like wanted to support the guy. Mm. But uh, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that reminds me uh -huh. uh, to support somebody. Um, what is it? Um, do you know? Gosh, did you ever watch? Ned's the class fight. Ned's the class yes! fight. survival guide. With Cookie? <laughs> no, not with Cookie. Well, yes, but like Devin Werkheiser, the main character. Oh, yeah? He does like life, life, to like life advice videos now. Wait, really? It's super weird, but it's like really amazing. Oh, wow. So he went from like school advice to like to life, here's, here's <laughs> life advice. And it's like really like. Dude, people who are in like Disney shows and shit like that were like, they always end up in really funny places. Or on Coke, but you know. <laughs> it's a 50 50. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, like when they right when they hit like twenty or something, they flip a coin. And they're like tails. Oh, I guess I'm going coke. <laughs> guess, guess I'm gonna do drugs. Heads and this like immediately get a call like, hey, do you wanna uh, save the world in Africa? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> That's like I don't remember who it was, either Zach or Cody, but one of them um, plays Close Smash. No, they. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, one of them plays Smash and was like, like he was at this one event. And they're like, oh shit, it's like Zach slash Cody, and he's like, hey, and he came up and like commentated for a while on stream. Oh really? Cool. really? Yeah, that's dope. I I want to say it was Cody, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it. All right. But yeah, it was really cool. So uh, where do De we go? Devin Workheiser. Oh. No, you just go back. You just cut the tree. Oh. Jeez, oh. Jeez, man. Oh my. Oh, don't even know your Pokemon Gould. <laughs> No, All right, anyway. Okay, so Devin Markheiser, he, um, at the time of recording this, uh, he's working on, like, a new album right now, and he really wants money, so I was like, eh, I support, like, your life advice, I support you, like, the cool, like... Was he dropping, like, a mixtape? No, he was just, like, making, like, an acoustic album. Oh, okay. And I really like... His music's really good, I'd, I'd kind of recommend it. Oh, that, that's I'll actually really back. neat. No, no, go back. I wanted to show you... I'm on the top of the shrine. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I bought, like, his, his CD, and it's gonna be signed, and I'm excited when it comes out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Cause he's like, hey, I want, I want support, but also I'm kind of being independent right now. Oh, I feel that, dude. I just do everything myself. What is this? Full there's, heal. There's a lot of um, hidden items in this forest as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Let me go back to look at the shrine. Yeah. I don't know. Is that like a random picket fence? That looks really nice, actually. What that? Yeah, I know it's just like a random like advice sign, but it looks really nice. I never really thought about it. That, it actually, I think that was the one I was using for reference for my game when I was oh. working on a sign. Okay. But it, or no, it did get used, but it was like a wall sign. Because oh, okay. I was I was trying to remember because I like worked on I was using it as a placeholder and I was like I was looking at the markings I was like fuck was that like from the like, gold or did I make that shit I need to like <laughs> so I, I to, like, double check yeah I had to look it up I'm like did I make this or not because like if, if I if not that's not like good I need to change that but yeah mm. that's funny All so right. yeah this shrine um, just like quickly talk about it to be uh, fun and cool um, only to my knowledge in Japanese crystal version. You can get an event item called the GS Ball. Right. You put it in the shrine, you get Celebi. Yeah. Was that like a, a like a Jirachi type event thing for America? Like you could go to the Toys R Us and it's do it only, or whatever. Yeah, but it's only in Japan. So they didn't do it at all in America. No. Ooh. But it's like it's coded in the game. Like GS Ball is coded and stuff. They just never used it, which is why in the anime, it's like super awkward that they have the GS Ball throughout the whole like game, like adventure and stuff. Mm -hmm. And eventually, they're like, this never came to America. We don't know what to do with this thing. So, like, in the anime, they just give it to Professor Oak and it's never talked about again. Oh, that's really funny. They just <laughs> they they just write it out of the story. They're yeah, like, nope. Because they were going to do, to my knowledge, they are going to incorporate into, like, the Celebi 4th movie. Uh -huh. But they did, I don't think they wanted to, like, officially tie in, like, the anime and the movies together. Because they're kind of separate. Yeah, yeah, they are. Because, like, they use, like, it's the like not one It's, like, time, soft but... canon, you know? Like, it's not, right. it's mostly canon. But not all the way. That's why they don't talk about Professor Oak ever being a kid ever again in the fourth movie. <laughs> right. They were just like, hey, I saw you thousands of years ago. Uh, <laughs> I guess I not go thousands, but... Talk to Bubsy? You want to talk to him. Do I have to really go around? To to yeah, you go around. Is there another item here? Yeah, keep going. And keep looking at all these. They all have good so items. So it's like very obvious. Like there's something there. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess for like adults. Yeah, that's true. I probably would have noticed as a kid. I, I was a stupid ass kid. Stupid -ass Kids kid. are stupid. <laughs> so if you're a kid watching this, I'm sorry if you're dumb. You're dumb. Life advice number number 25. Kids are dumb. Kids are dumb. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, I think we talked about that once before, and I was like, uh, when I played Oracle of Seasons as a kid, and I just couldn't, like, couldn't get past, like, second or third dungeon or whatever, so I just hung around in, like, the starting village forever. Yep. I'm like, well, this is my life, I guess. <laughs> I can cut trees. Cool. Speaking of cutting trees... Headbutting trees. Yep. What am I doing? I'm shaking <laughs> trees. Like in the middle of the woods, like. What am I tree. doing? What am shaking I... trees. Using headbutt. Smoking trees. HMO2 headbutt. So here's the fun thing I want to bring up. Can now. we give this to Cupperoni? It'd be a, it'd be a solid move for now, but. Does he learn that actually? Headbutt. Yeah. Probably. A lot of Pokemon are headbutt in this game. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense if you make a mechanic out of it. it. Yeah. Pokemon we can get with it. Oh, okay. What's up? Oh, crap. Okay. Execute? Wait, really? Kind of cool. Yeah. yeah that's kind of neat. Um, Pineco? I've never used Pineco. I've never used Pineco. It's a fucking Pinecone. Like, come on. Um, that's in, these in the forest trees here. Okay. There's actually a difference between forest tree and mountain trees. It's not blatantly, like, shown. Like, they don't, they don't have, like, a visual difference, but it's just, like, what area you're in. So you're in the forest. So you're gonna get the forest spawns. It tells you in this list here. Um, Pineco, like... Oh, only Seth Rogen. Well, okay. Doing him, I guess. Mm. We just use it for now. 
Yeah, actually, yeah, that's fine, because I can't... It's better than like, Tackle. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that, because I was trying to think, like, what if we want to use Headbutt later on? It's like, there are Pokemon that would Headbutt in the wild if we really care that much. I, that's weird. I feel like I feel like a Noctowl would uh, learn that. I know. I thought, I thought it could. Um, but here's the exciting part. The Mountain Trees, which I believe are in... Um... The town we were just in, I think they have the mountain trees. We can get a palm. Oh, the monkey? Yeah. Hey. We can get my favorite Pokemon of all time, Heracross. Oh, shit. We should do that. And Spearow. <laughs> so, yeah, we can get Heracross now. That's exciting. Yeah, let's, uh, should we go back and do that? If you want a Heracross. Yeah, dude, let's do it. <laughs> you want a Heracross? Yeah, Heracross is cool. I was thinking either Heracross or Pineco would be kind of fun. Nah, Heracross is cool. Yeah, because I looked at because then I looked at Pineco's moveset and I'm like, self-destruct. And Rapid it. spin. <laughs> oh, okay. Rapid spin. <laughs> I was like, great. <laughs> this Pokemon looks not usable. Heracross is really fun in this game. I used one in Crystal and I had a blast. That's good. Even though it only wins like normal type moves. <laughs> but to say there's not a bunch of bug type moves at this point. Sorry. There's only <laughs> actually I think Aircross learns the one uh, bug type offensive move that does decent damage, which is Mega Horn. Oh right, that that existed. Yep. But it's level 50. <laughs> Wait, it learns it at level 50? Yeah, I believe it's 50. Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, this game Am is this is uh, no, Gen 2 though, which is a long game. No, it's not. Oh, the, okay. You, Never mind. 16 gems. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, like, we, we will get... Are we doing all 16 gems? I was planning on it. Okay, well then, Megahorn's fine. <laughs> we'll were, get it were you not? Were you not planning on it? That's, no, like, I the no, coolest no, 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 thing no. about this game. I don't know why I thought, like, maybe, but it's like, yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. <laughs> that was we're like... We're not playing, like, Red Bull or Yellow, are we? No, because they technically were Game Boy original. Mm -hmm. Even... I thought Yellow was, but apparently it is original that surprises me i know it looks really good <laughs> yeah i know i'm like i thought it was but i think it's just it's yeah it's just like a you know like a crystal or like an emerald because mm -hmm. some of the sprites from uh yellow were actually in gold and silver because how good they were <laughs> right so but i maybe i'll have to go double check but i mean you want to go back to the first time i i know i fucked up um so I tell you what, how about n next time? Next time we'll, we'll be there. <laughs> next time we'll, we'll find Heracross and we'll catch it. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be cool. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. 